My name is Barbara and I'm reading something I wrote a few years ago after I participated in something called holotropic breathwork, which is a form of very deep meditation. And this was sort of my impression of what I had experienced. At the point at which I knew I was closer to understanding what I truly am, I knew I was closer to experiencing grace. An emptiness precedes the openness and openness is a way, a manner of being, a something that you can only notice has temporarily eluded you and reclaim. The grace itself is God's work. My work is to meet it where it extends lightly toward me, urges me toward itself with committed longing. My body responds, my visceral nature knowing someone, everyone is here, always comfortably, instructively here. I acknowledge every cell in my body with my body itself, the whole, and each cell grows its own ability to arrive and connect, to receive and to reply. I am, and as I am, I feel. I feel my measure, my measure of love, of anguish, of joy, of comfort, curative sorrow and peace emanating from the single source, the source from which all experience them knowingly or unknowingly. My measure floating effortlessly in freedom, liberated from the falsehood and subjectivity that birth confusion and resistance, and I could linger here, and sometimes I do. And as I feel, I see, and I see with no words, no shapes, no colors, I see where the humanity wakens to the divine and I can see that freedom whisks the anguish along and glides it almost imperceptibly past the form, that incarnate impression. And then I know with every part of me seen and unseen. And in that moment, the bends and curves in my body dissolve and the wisp of a heart's cry liquefies into the hunger of all and the spoken outpourings dissipate. And all that remains is a straight line from here to the fullness of reality. With gentle forewarning, I return to my numb slumber with the promise to sleep more placidly and just a moment less than last I slept. And when I wake, grace. Grace will have awoken me with that sweet sound that is the muse of hymns and grace will turn me within and without toward the source and into the light. Thank you.